I would like to take this opportunity, if you may allow me, to assure the nation that the fall army worm invasion has been defeated by my government. <laughs> totally defeated. The impression which has been created by some, um, some people that the army worm is consuming planting for food and jobs, Mr. Speaker, is not correct, it's wrong. This is why we are in anticipation of the surpluses that we are expecting. We are making frantic efforts in order that we will store and make sure that not one single bee or one single grain is lost at the farm gate because of lack of markets. But Mr. Speaker, I want to give the Honourable Member some statistics to prove what we are saying. If I may. The total area affected by the army worm came to 112,812 hectares were affected. The speaker were affected. There's a difference between affected and destroyed. And that is why a lot of people get confused. The total number which was destroyed was only 14,430 hectares. Only, only because it does not even form 2% of the total area under base alone. Never mind the total area under all crops in Ghana. So there is a, a huge exaggeration of the possible impact of the army work. And my, my experts, Mr. Speaker, my experts at the ministry, and I believe they are some of the best in the world, have, uh, have uh, very sure uh, that the army worm is under total control. And the only challenge that we have is to ensure that next year, this 112,000 hectares will be reduced to zero. And we are going to make sure, uh, we, are, uh, we are going to make sure that between now and next year, we annihilate this army worm from the source of Ghana.